Hello students, in this video I will be explaining how to compute the present value of an ordinary simple annuity. Let's first explain this concept of present value. The present value of course will be the value of all the payments you are making in the annuity at the beginning of the term. So at the beginning of the first payment interval. So what we do is just getting the value of each of them on this first point, using this first point as a focal date. Of course, we already have the formula to compute the future value, so we know the value of all these payments at the end of the annuity. So what to do to compute the value of all these payments at the beginning? We can use the formula of present value of a compound interest problem to compute the present value of this SN, that focal date. So it will be using this as n as future value, the principal or the present value will be equal to this as n multiplied by 1 plus i to the power negative n. So to compute the present value of an annuity, it will be enough computing the present value of this future value as n. And this is what I have done at that moment. However, we would like to simplify this because having the formula in this way means that you need to compute the future value first and then multiply by 1 plus i to the power negative n. Let's simplify this formula in such a way that you don't need to compute this future value first. And I'm going to use this symbol a sub n to symbolize the present value of the annuity. Obviously, if we use the formula of future value for this Sn, then the, val the present value of the annuity will be this. So I have just substituted Sn by the value of Sn. That we know that is the payment multiplied by 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by i. Now multiplying by this number, 1 plus i to the power negative n, so we can multiply this by the second factor here. This by 1 plus i to the power negative n will be 1. And the second term will be 1 by this term, so it will be 1 plus i to the power negative n. So we can do it and we get a formula in this way. And this is the way that people use it to compute the present value of the annuity. So here will be the payment and then 1 plus i to the power negative n divided by i. In some textbook, you can find the formula in this way. Present value equal payment 1 plus i to the power negative n. And remember, this i will be the periodic payment, so the payment in each compounded period. This n will be the number of payments in the annuity, and this r is each of the payments where to use this formula. Sometimes you need to know the value at the beginning of the annuity. For example, when you have a loan, so or the discounted value of all the annuity. So we use this formula usually when you need to compute the discounted value of a series of payments. So for example, in a loan, you want to know what is the finance amount of the loan, how much was actually the loan, or in a mortgage, what will the finance amount in a mortgage, when you want to know the initial value of a contract or the initial value of a lease. So whenever you want to compute a value at the beginning of the annuity. Or for example, the initial value of an annuity. An annuity is an insurance product in which you need to pay an amount at the beginning and you start receiving periodic payments later. So to know with this initial value of the annuity, you will need to compute the initial value or the present value of all the payments. So this will be the most common situations in which you need actually to compute the present value of an annuity. Let's see that with an example. An annuity is set up to pay a thousand dollars at the end of every three months for one year. Find the present value of this annuity if interest is at 8% compounded quarterly. So we are thinking in an annuity like this. You are going to receive a thousand dollars every three months, so four times per, per year, and you want to compute what will be the value of these payments at the beginning. So if you are getting an annuity, an insurance annuity, 
you will need to pay an amount here and you are going to receive a thousand dollars every three months so what will be the amount that you will need to put at the beginning if you want to receive one thousand every three months per one year if we know that the interest is eight percent compounded quarterly so we have this data that we have four payments that eight percent is the interest the nominal rate of interest that the thousand is the payment, and you want to compute the value of this annuity at the beginning. What information we have? We know that R equal 1,000, that the nominal rate of interest is 8%, that it compounded quarterly, so it compounds four times per year. We know that will be also four payments, because the payments are also every three months, so the payments are also quarterly. This is a simple annuity. Payment periods and compounded periods are the same. And finally, we know that n equals 4. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4. In one, it was only one year. Obviously, if you want to use a formula, it will be the times times the number of payment per year. That is the same of m. And this, this will be equal 1 times 4 equals 4. Okay, use the formula that we have spoke about already. So we know that the present value will be equal the payment multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i to the power negative n over i, divided by i. So if you make a substitution, so it will be here 1,000, uh, here will be a percent divided by 4, you can type 0 0.04 or type 0 0.08 divided by 4. You have a calculator, you can make this substitution easier. Okay, if you have a calculator, you can take out your calculator and start typing everything. For example, 1,000, you type 1,000, 1,000. Uh, multiply, in some calculators, you need to type multiplication. Here, this, in this calculator, I can start opening the bracket immediately. The calculator understands that this is a multiplication. Then you see 1 minus, so it, I type 1 minus, and as always, everything that I type in, every, every key that I type in appears here in this slide, on the left of the slide, and also it's appearing in the screen what you are typing. Eh? So one minus another bracket, so I open another bracket, one plus one plus point zero a over four, so it will be point zero eight uh, divided by divided by 4. Then close the bracket. Again, instead of this, you can type 0 0.02. If you notice that the division has the number of decimals not so big, you can type all the decimals. If no, you can do this. Just type the division. Then to the power negative 4. So it will be to the power uh, negative 4. So it will be use this symbol for the negative yeah, in the calculator. Don't use the symbol of the minus sign of the operation. So you type minus four. And again, some calculators we you in some calculator you need to type first the number and after the number change the sign. In this calculator you can type negative four. Usually the new scientific calculators you type in the, the sign of the of the number and then the number if the number is negative when well, you actually need to type the sign of the number okay i already closed the bracket and then divided by so then this divided by and put the operation at the bottom in brackets so open bracket 0 0.08 point zero zero eight divided by four divided by 4 and don't forget to close this bracket so type equals 3807.73 if you round it to two decimal so let's round it here to two decimal 3807.73 so if you want to receive 1000 every three months per one year if you have this interest you will need to pay for the annuity 3807.73 we can answer then that the value of the annuity is 3,807.73. 3,807.73 .73. And with that, I finish the explanation of this problem. Let's answer another problem. 
An installment contract for the purchase of a car requires payment of 252.17 at the end of each month for the next three years. Suppose interest is 8.4 per year compounded monthly. What is the amount financed? We have that you are paying 252.17 every month and you do this for three years. And you want to know what was the actual amount finance? What was the actual amount of the loan? So for doing that, we compute the present value, of course. So let's see what we know. We know that there are 252.17 is the, is the payment, so R equal 252.17. We also know that the interest, the nominal rate of interest is 8.4%. This is not the periodic rate of interest. The periodic rate of interest will be this divided by 12, because there are 12 conversion periods in a year. So we have 12 conversion periods, so n equal 12, you will need to divide this number by 12 to compute the periodic rate of interest. And then we also know that the time is three years, so we know that the number n of payments will be the time times m. In this case, we multiply by m because the number of payments and the number of conversion periods is the same. This is a, a simple annuity. So it will be three times 12 equals 36. So that will be the exponent in the formula of the annuity. So let's type the formula, payment, 1 minus 1 plus i to the power negative n divided by i. Let's make a substitution. This r is 252.17. This i will be 0 0.084 divided by 12. And this n will be 36. So if we make a substitution, we have something like this. And now, just use your calculator. Type 252.17, 252.17, and open bracket. So I open bracket. As I told you before, some calculator will, will need a multiplication sign between the number and the bracket. Some others like this, not. You just open the bracket and the calculator will understand that this is a multiplication. 1 minus will be 1 minus, then open bracket, 1 plus 0 0.084, 0 0.084 divided by 12, 1, 2, close the bracket, and raise this to the power negative 36, so this is to the power, and then negative 36 and then close the bracket. Divide it by, don't forget to open the bracket when you're going to start typing an operation in the denominator of expression. So in this case, it will be open bracket 0 0.084.0084 0 divided again by 12, divided by 12, 1, 2, and don't forget to close the bracket. Press equal and the calculator will tell you the answer. 8,000.007329. Rounded to two decimals will be 8,000.001. It will be 8,000.001. So we can answer that the amount finance is $8,000.01. And with this, I finish. My explanation of present value of an ordinary simple annuity and finish this video. In the coming video, I will show you other application of this present value formula. Thank you.